You helping, buddy? You helping? <laughs> You're good at painting. We're using the citrus strip, uh, stripping gel, and we just put that on here. It's already working. It works within like 10 minutes. It's really, really fast working. But uh, we're gonna let these sit overnight. Just want to show you guys what it's doing so far. So this was straight paint right here. You can see it's bubbling up. Look at that. This peels right away. So what we'll do tomorrow morning is just pressure wash these off. We're doing the gas tank, both fenders. This one. I'm just peeling right off like nothing. So it's looking pretty good. We'll come back in the morning and check on it. We'll see what's going on, right, bud? <laughs> and uh, then we've got the rest of the bike over here. We've got to get cleaning up. I might fully restore it. We don't know yet. I want to take it for a ride first, see how it rides. But uh, this one's pretty easy to strip down to the frame. We could maybe powder coat the frame. Uh, redo the engine. All that fun stuff. But first I want to see if it runs and drives. Um, and we'll test drive it first. Just to see how it goes because I haven't ridden one of these in a while. Alright, it is the next day. Let's see what this stripper did. So you can see I already took some of this off. Let's see how easy it comes off now. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That's like nothing. Let's see what this does. Oh yeah. Cool. Well, we're gonna take most of it off with the towels and then we'll pressure wash it and get the rest of it off. I just don't want all that uh, stripper stuff in the grass, so. All right, just got done pressure washing the plastics. We're gonna do the bike next. I'm trying not to get it in the carburetor there. But uh, you can see a lot of the frame needs to be touched up with white paint. We'll do that maybe later. And then the pipe needs to be painted as well. The high temp paint. We'll do that as well. The pipe looks really nice otherwise. Pressure wash. Looking pretty good. Just needs a lot of touch up paint. Yeah, definitely looking better. Alright, here are the plastics. All cleaned up. You can see this one's a little bit discolored. The gas sink is. It's pretty common. But all the other ones are not too bad. A little discoloration right there. All the other ones are really white. All the plastics are in really good shape, so it should look pretty nice with all these installed. All right, we're using some flame proof on the pipe. I took a wire wheel and got off all the rust, then sprayed it off with brake cleaner. So it's all prepped to go.
All right, we'll let that dry and then do the other side. But uh, this is coming along over here. Really, the frame just needs to be touched up. And like I said before, eventually I might restore the whole thing. So I just want to see what it's going to look like if we get it to the point where it's all rust free and you know looking pretty good but eventually down the line I might take this thing all apart and do it right but for now I want to ride it <laughs> so we're just doing a light restoration if you can even call it that but making it look a little bit more cosmetically pleasing and then we gotta get this brake to work as well so we'll get the plastics on take a look what it looks like and then try to get this front brake to work all right, raining pretty good right now. Might have to postpone the ride for tomorrow instead, but we got the whole bike back together here. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty sweet. <laughs> Starting to look like a Yamaha now. Obviously it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than it was. Those white plastics are pretty cool. And they're in really good shape. Pipe turned out really nice. Look at that. This is looking pretty awesome. Well, let's work on fixing this front brake. Get this thing ride ready for tomorrow here. Yeah, the piston's definitely stuck in there. See that? The piston's right there. That thing's just completely stuck. So let's work on that. We'll get this out and then hammer that piston back and forth and hopefully that loosens up a bit but after we get the front brake working oh I guess we do have the back brake yet Let's see if that's working oh yeah back brake works so at least we have one brake so let's try to get the front brake to work and then we'll go up in the parts bin and try to find a number plate for it that would really complete the look 10 millimeter bolt right here A spring in there, yep. Right now we can kind of see the piston a little bit better in there. You guys can see that right there. So we're gonna hammer that in, see if we can free up that piston in there. going in, it's just getting stuck now. Yeah, she's pretty stuck in there. <laughs> we'll work on getting that out. All right, we got it freed up. And check this out. Spin the front wheel. No, I can't spin it. So, brake is fixed. Awesome. All we gotta do is get that. Uh, that little piston plunger unstuck and it bled itself, so that was good. <laughs> that one's fixed. Right, this thing is basically ready for the first ride, so I'm gonna go to the store, get some white touch of paint for um, the frame, and then I'm going to order up a number plate for the front. I, I thought I had one, but I guess I, I lost it in the move, so. We'll have to order up a new one of those. I think they're like 50 bucks. But then it will be complete, so that'll be nice. But yeah, it's coming along, looking pretty good. I'm excited for the first ride. So tomorrow, after it stops raining, we'll go take it to the land and take it for a test drive. Stay tuned for that. 
Should be very exciting. <laughs> All right, made it to the land back here. We got the bike in the back. Looks like we need a cut back here. It's getting long again. So we'll have to make a trip with the four-wheeler and the cutter and cut some more trails through here. But uh, let's head down here and take the first ride on the big beast. All right, here she is. I'm excited for the first ride here. As you can see, I touched up the frame a little bit. So all the heavy rust spots are gone. And what I did was take a wire wheel to the rusty spot, get it down the bare metal, and paint it over that. So you can see all those spots were cleaned up and I didn't go crazy or anything. And uh, there's no overspray on anything. So I just kind of took some spray paint and um, just put it in a can and then brush it on and it seemed to work pretty good. Paint matched pretty well. So it's looking a little bit better. But yeah, let's get this thing unloaded. Take it for the first ride. All right, let's get this thing warmed up. We're gonna warm it up for a while. I don't wanna blow it up. All right, we're gonna be wearing the big boot today. Oh boy, this thing is definitely freaky. <laughs> oh man, it has a ton of power. It is scary to ride. The clutch did work. So, dang. Oh, I just wait until we put the GoPro on. You guys are gonna freak out. In first and second gear, it goes as fast as a normal dirt bike. It's crazy. Yeah, she's a little freaky to ride. That's a really big bike. It's a really, really big bike. So let's throw the GoPro on and <laughs> let's see what happens. Right, so here we go, first ride. Um, this thing is just a freaky bike to ride. <laughs> the thing is just massive and it just vibrates a ton. And you can just tell the power is there instantly. It's really crazy. All this fluid's from the chain. I lubed up the chain a ton because it needed it badly. Let's see if I can kick it over without my big boot on. 
thing is crazy to kick over too. Tons of compression. Oh jeez. Oh, she backfired. Usually means it's gonna start the next kick. Oh no. Come on, baby. Might need my big boot. Might need the choke. Things a beast to start. <laughs> Very fast. Feels like I'm sitting up really high right now. Oh, she pops right up. Oh man, this thing has a ton of power. Ouch. It's hard to control already. Not comfortable on it. Look at that thing just putting away here. It wants to lift right up instantly. This is going to take a while to get used to. <laughs> I'm leaning forward because it wants to take off here. Oh, I'm like scared of this bike. <laughs> here we go. Oh. Sounds like it might be running a tab lean. See how it's keeping the idle up like that? Woo! Too big of a bike. <laughs> oh, holy crap. Oh, that almost threw me off right there. The whole thing just lifts up. Oh, is that scary? How do people ride this thing? I'm in second gear right now. Oh. This thing is really freaky. I admit I'm scared of it. <laughs> I am very scared of this bike. Go. We're gonna pin it right here.
back. That was freaky. What the heck happened there? Did we run out of gas already? No, there's plenty of gas in it. It's revved up to the moon. What the heck? <laughs> what was that about? I turned the choke on and it went right back down, but that was that was pretty freaky. If my clutch didn't work, I'd be dead right there. <laughs> oh, this thing is so scary. Alright, let's take it for another ride and see uh, if it still does that. Revving up. If it does, I may have an air leak somewhere. Ooh, backfired. Should start up this kick right here. Go. up anymore. That's good. Taking lift off right there. Holy cow. Oh, really whipped it back. got stuck again. Yeah, it's not an air leak. Throttle gets stuck. Alright, well, I didn't die yet on it. <laughs> so that's a plus. Dang, this thing has a lot of power. <laughs> I want to take it on the road and do a top speed run, but um, I think I'm pushing my luck already. I don't want it to have a throttle stick and have this thing blow up, so I'll probably take it home and look at that throttle a little bit closer <laughs> before we end up doing that. Alright, so this YZ490 is way scarier than the other one I own. This thing has way more compression, way more get up and go, and um, this thing will lift up every single gear. It's just crazy. Really, really scary bike to ride. So if you ever pick one up, be careful on them. They are, uh, they are monster bikes. They sit up really tall, so you gotta be pretty tall to ride it. And uh, they're a beast to kick over. So your, your leg better be pretty strong. <laughs> and uh, they just buck you around the whole time you're riding it. What a beast. So whoever used to race these were pretty tough guys. That's not an easy bike to ride. Um, the CR500 is way easier to ride than that thing. So yeah, it's it's definitely a beast. So there she is. 
So the only problem we had was the throttle sticking a little bit, which is not a good problem to have on this bike. <laughs> Probably the worst problem you can have on this bike, actually. So, but uh, we'll look at that when we get home and try to figure that out. I think it's just maybe the slide's getting caught in there a little bit. But otherwise, the bike is running great. And uh, the carburetor could be tuned a little bit, maybe. Maybe a little richer. But yeah, pretty cool bike. So that wraps up today's video on the YZ490. I think now we're going to go check and uh, install a trail camera. And we're going to go see if we can get any deer on camera, or turkey on camera, or uh, Bigfoot on camera. See what's living out here. I haven't put any cameras up yet, so it should be interesting to see what we find. So we'll go walk back there, try to find a good spot for it. Um, I got the, the camera that um, connects to 4G, so it'll send you a picture right when it sees something, so it's pretty cool. All right, first spot we're gonna put the camera is over in this woods area over here. Um, the deer tend to come and eat the soybeans. By the way, the soybeans are doing really well. You can see the pods here. And they're getting dried out. I think typically people harvest these end of October. So they'll be completely dried out. You can see the light leaves. And then that's when they harvest them. But yeah, we'll walk back here and we'll put the camera back here and then wait a couple weeks and we'll see what we get. All right, so I put the first camera right here. on this tree and the brand of the camera is uh, Reveal Reveal X so that's what we're using it's pointing in this direction you can see there's a trail coming down here and one down here and actually one right there so there's three trails coming and uh, you can see deer dropping everywhere over here So a lot come through here. We'll see if we catch any big ones here. Yeah, you can see all the deer droppings. Well, that's a big one. So we'll see what we, we get here. And then I might put another one. Let's see, probably put one by my house in the other trails, see if we get any deer over there as well. All right, made her back home here. I'll go show you guys the trails outside. Walk down this way. So you can see the the one stake right there is for the property that uh, we had before. And now it stretches all the way back here. So now we own the whole woods over here to the road back here. So you can see I cut a trail right here. I cut all this. This is all new. I cut this. This was all like that grass. So Benny and I like coming up here. And then we do sprints up and down the hill. He loves that. But here are the trails. So this one goes to the road up here. This one goes down here. You guys have seen me take that one before. Yeah, you can see there's a road back here. Cut all this. I still have to cut it yet today, again, but. And then we put some, you no know, trespassing signs. And there's the other trail camera. We'll see what kind of deer we get back here. But here's the other trail through the woods, which is kind of nice. 
The mower did not like this one. <laughs> I just used the mower from my house to mow this trail. A lot of logs I had to clear out of here. And then this one goes back to the main trail. And there's a trail right here. It's kind of nice back here. There's one that goes over to here. And there's one that goes this way. Good little dirt bike trail. For if I want to test stuff out without going to the land. This one goes through here. You can see. It comes out by my house. And there's a trail up here. And then a trail down there. And that one goes that way. So down here. This one from my house. There's Vinny. Vinny's wandering around. What's he doing? He loves wandering back here. He's having fun. And this is the garage back here. So that is the trail system. We'll see if we get any deer showing up on camera. Of course it's locked. Vinny, what do you think? I had a pool back here at one point, that's why it's all sand. And we're back in the garage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video on the YZ490 from 1984. Thing is a beast of a bike and uh, it's running pretty good. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this one yet, but uh, leave your comments down below what you guys think of this thing. And uh, I think that's it for the video. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one. And until next time, we are out.